Man accused of causing a crash which killed a little girl is in police custody tonight. Sean Kugel turned himself in this morning after being indicted for murder. WLKY's Carolyn Callahan is live with more on Kugel's criminal background and reaction from the little girl's family. Carolyn? Vicki, Ella Ralph's uncle tells us that family members are glad that Sean Kugel is off the streets tonight. They also tell us that there was another victim in this crash. They say that Ella's grandmother was severely injured in that crash and died from those injuries months later. All right, we are on the record in the case of the Commonwealth versus Sean Kugel. Sean Kugel appeared in court Wednesday for a scheduled pretrial conference on drug charges. Instead of dealing with that case, Kugel's attorney turned him over to police. Jefferson County grand jury has returned an indictment as relates to Mr. Kugel on a murder charge. That murder charge is from a May 2014 crash in Pleasure Ridge Park. Police say Kugel tried to pass another car on Terry Road and hit an SUV, killing seven year old Ella Ralph. Ralph's family members say the little girl's grandmother, Kay Spade, was seriously injured in the crash and died from her injuries three months later. An 11 year old and 13 year old were also hurt. It's a very serious charge and he's taking it very seriously. And the, the accident that, that occurred last May, I mean, he was injured very severely himself and is still suffering from the effects of that accident. On top of the murder charge, Kugel is also charged with assault, criminal mischief, and wanton endangerment. We thought it prudent to perhaps turn him in physically today. We learned of the warrant. Uh, Sean came in immediately, and we arranged to surrender him to the court. Court records show Sean Kugel's criminal history dates back more than a decade and includes convictions for burglary, theft, criminal mischief, and possession of cocaine. His attorneys would not comment on any evidence in the case, saying they haven't seen it yet. As he left the courtroom Wednesday, Kugel's family cried. And Kugel's attorneys have filed a motion to talk about bond in this case. We are told by family members of Ella and her grandmother that at least one family member is considering being at court when Kugel next appears. Reporting live, Carolyn Callahan, WLKY News. Thank you, Carolyn.